Today we have a special treat that's all about embracing Portuguese heritage with a modern twist right here in Northern California. Here to tell us about the delicious details of the Portuguese festival, we have Gui Sequeira of the Portuguese Historical and Cultural Society. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so we have so many things here. I wanted to start off by first asking about the festival, all about it, and the inspiration for this event. Well, I think the inspiration came uh, from maybe Mallory, uh, Nancy Mallory. Um, festival is a combination of uh, two names, the uh, original Festo, uh, the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. Festival, and uh, Festival. So, uh, religious and a profane kind of uh, uh, group. Yeah. And so we'll uh, try to bring in more of the younger people. Yeah. And so it draw an attention yeah, to everybody. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. That's amazing. And, and I understand that California is the state with the largest Portuguese American community. Why is that? Uh, I think because uh, the Azores Islands and Portugal in the mid the 14th, 15th century mm -hmm. were pretty um, poor. And so a uh, young man uh, left uh, their islands in search of a better life. Mm -hmm. So they joined or um, enlisted in uh, the whale ships and um, served in the whale ships. And, and then uh, when they heard of uh, the gold rush, yeah. they jumped ship and came across to California. Mm -hmm. And some stayed. Yeah. And, uh, and some settled here in Sacramento. Yes. Mm -hmm. They, um, especially in the Freeport area, uh, because of the ocean, the river close by, yeah. and um, and they stayed. And um, we're trying to keep their our traditions alive. Yeah, it's yes. important to do that and exposing yeah. more and more people to them. So tell us more about what people will be able to see and do at this special gathering. Uh, I understand that we'll have uh, food trucks, uh, mm -hmm. wine tasting, uh, we have the Carvalho Winery yeah. and they will be uh, um, uh, sampling their wine. Uh, we will have uh, the Portuguese Historical and Cultural Society, which is me. That's yeah. her! <laughs> <laughs> we will be, uh, we'll be putting on a fashion show kind of with uh, our costumes yes. from the mainland. Wow. And uh, there will be games. Um, then, uh, of course, there will be a display of the religious part of the, uh, of the festa, yeah. festa uh, with the capes of the queens. And tell us about this crown, because that is a crown. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, um, IDS Freeport Festa is celebrating 130 years of continual um, festas. Yeah. And that is an original uh, crown. Um, it is worn by the big queen, because mm -hmm. we have two queens. So we have the big queen, and this would be our cape. Yeah. Well, sometimes they have different capes. And then the little queen, and it is a smaller crown. Mm -hmm. And on Trinity Sunday, they celebrate their festival wow. and serve sopers and serve uh, uh, all sorts of traditional foods, sweet bread, sell, uh, sell sweet bread and, um, and all sorts of things. So like. much stuff. And I also understand that there's going to be some things auctioned off. We have a few of those baskets yes, here as well, too. A sample of, yeah. uh, of different things that we'll be auctioning yeah. off. And, uh, and some of them have recipes, mm -hmm. like this one that is the cabeza, uh, soup of the cabeza and peixe. Yeah. And have all, has all the ingredients for the, making the soup, the, the soup. And um, um, wine, onions, uh, a spices, of everything. potatoes, <laughs> that goes all in there. In the, and the fish soup, the, the cabeza and peixe. Ooh, all righty. So. And remind us when it's taking place. Uh, this coming Saturday. There we go. From 10 to 5. And uh, so if you... Um, uh, they have to go on Facebook. I'm going to tell them where they can go so that they can yes. come and join this event. Yes. You can find out more by going to facebook.com slash Freeport Festa. I learned how to say that. Thanks, Nikki, over here. 